Gorge. About to drive into Yellowstone. It's minus two degrees. Uh, us two foos woke up at 5.30 in the morning. I wanted to sleep in, but it's a beautiful sight. Uh, Teddy Roosevelt inducted Yellowstone into the national park system. I believe the archway, she told me it was over there, so we'll drive over there. Wow. We are just outside Yellowstone National Park, and one of the main features that I like history is Teddy Roosevelt and inducted in Yellowstone into the national park system in 1872 created by, they call it the Roosevelt Arch, but Teddy Roosevelt, who's the cousin of Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Oh my gosh, my hand is fucking cold. There's minus two degrees out here. There's elk. Elk. Grazing along around six o'clock in the morning. Uh, you can see it's steaming right now, ah. just a little bit. As we get up around this corner and, and through, it'll Elk. be down below us. It'll be steaming a lot. Because that's the way, just the up springs. around the corner, the hot springs feed this feed thing. And where it comes out, where you can actually go down to it and walk down there, um, I mean, it, it'll scald you. Um, and it mixes in with the... Uh, the water that's already running on this thing. You can have all of these things. Just hanging out. Getting a little yeah, morning graze. No, did you see the ones sitting down yeah, right next the to the one. road? Yeah, there's another one over there walking around. Yep. Meeting that uh, Yellowstone River there, and it's steaming, which is so amazing. That, that one's just sitting up there looking out over us. Elk. There's another one over here. Oh yeah, that's definitely Red Dead Redemption. I used to pull, in the game I pull out the sniper rifle and just shoot it and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> but this is real life now! Yep. That trips me out, the steam coming out from the uh, I'll wait until we get around the corner and it, uh, it really starts to warm up. <laughs> the hot springs feeding the uh, side of the steam. He's a baby. I'm in Red Dead Redemption too. Stop by just for now before we go. And let me get my other glove on. It is really cold, but interesting thing about Yellowstone, and I, I studied the uh, geology piece of it, is underneath the entirety of Yellowstone, Wyoming, and Montana are the underground ancient caverns of tectonic plates, movements, and volcanic uh, activity because our earth is still cooling down. At any rate, you don't want to hear too much about history, but I have always wanted to come to Yellowstone. The entire park is closed off, but this particular place, it's, it's steaming right off to the snow. And uh, just to get a landscape view of it all. Let's continue to walk up here, shall we? be very careful because this particular place that's amazing
it had snowed here last night and so the heat from the underground chambers the sulfuric acid comes up and creates these hot springs um, which so living color shimmering in this hot spring is a living palette of color billions of heat loving microorganisms called thermophiles carpet the springs um, so these microorganisms are coming out from the springs and living in this shit and uh, studying these types of things there is definitely some microbacteria that we could find in other planets, planetary systems. But irregardless, this is probably one of the coolest things that I've experienced. And just a moment of silence, you can hear the water flow. Hello. And he's just running right in front of him. Wow. Moose, moose, two of them. Yeah, I was gonna say moose. I won't worry too much. There's some moose and a big bison. Oh boy. Over there, buddy. That. You have to send me pictures of the moose, man. Those are rare. Under calf moose. All right. What's up, bro? Another rainbow there. So it's so cold. You were explaining that the ice crystals coming. Yeah, the, to the ice atmosphere. crystals that have been blown up. They're they're so light. There's so little water there, but you're getting that water up in there, and now they're refracting the light, the sunlight as it comes down through, and you get the rainbows. It has a real heavy duty uh, zoom function. That's a male moose. Uh, I want to say that's the female, and the calf is over there grazing. Where is it? I lost it. Oh yeah, there it is. Here, right? Yeah. 